bakery. So this is where we bake everything. If this is our baby. If you've ever wondered where the magic happens, if you thought we were in this like really mysterious cookie factory <laughs> with big machines everywhere, you were wrong because this is where it all happens. You don't need a lot of space. You just no. need a few mixers. Yeah. A fridge, freezer, and you're set to go. And a couple of blondies. And that's all you need. Today, we're going to show you how to make our blondies. Now these are the reason we started our business, really. White chocolate brownie is a blondie. It's where we come from. Blondie's kitchen. Here we are, <laughs> telling the tale. But they're not just any old blondie. We are making old school, classic blondies with Mr. Kipling, our friend Mr. Kipling. And Mr. Fox. And Mr. Fox. And if you didn't have an angel slice growing up and you're an 80s or 90s baby, honey, you didn't live. You really didn't. And if you didn't have party rings, I mean... What parties were you at? I know. So what we <laughs> thought is we're going to put in our ultimate after-school treats into a blondie and let's see how it goes. And it really went well, so we thought we'd give you the recipe. Exactly. And here we are showing you how to do it. Guys, get your whisks ready. I've got it ready. And if you thought our bourbon biscuit brownies were next level. This is incredible. Get ready to take it up a notch. So we're gonna go start with heating our butter in a pan. So we've got 250 grams of unsalted butter. Amazing. Make sure you get, so we're using softened butter, but make sure you get it all or you're not using the whole recipe. And wipe your hands down. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. So you wipe your hands down, get your butter in, and that's going into a pan on a low to medium heat until it completely melts. You're all about browning the butter, aren't you? Oh my God. Browning the butter, it's just flavour, isn't it? It's like she loves brown butter so much that her husband <laughs> made his company called Brown Butter. No? <laughs> yeah, that's part of the reason. I know. Yeah. Don't you just love it when something tastes good so you think you've got something that tastes good and then you just enhance it and turn it up and how do you enhance 10 it 1000 degrees or 1000 times how do you make brown butter well you're making it right now I'm you tell you. me honey so basically what you do you just want to melt your butter and you want to take it a little bit further that it starts to bubble mm. and the butter is it the butter or the milk it's it's yeah the it's milk. The, the milk in the butter will start to caramelize and the smell that you're going to smell is like something from a creperie. It's nutty. It's divine. It's nutty. It's it's almost essential. I don't know why. It's central. The, the the word that's coming to mind is it's chocolatey. I can't explain it's not it. Chocolatey, it's nutty. I know, but I can't explain it. It's like mm. it yeah, does it's to you what chocolate does to me. It's completely nutty, and you'll see. Um, steam will start to come off of the butter when it's getting to that point that you want it. Oh. It is really important that you melt it before it starts vigorously bubbling because you then run the risk of taking it too far and it actually burns. And the worst thing is burnt butter. No one um, wants burnt butter. In no brownies. One. There's such a fine line though, isn't there, of like browning it and then, oh, you've just gone that bit too far and then it's then bitter and that is not what we want. So make sure your butter's all melted before you get that heat up to turn it to bubble and brown. And it happens quickly, doesn't it? Really quickly. But you don't want to melt your chocolate in the pan first because butter takes longer to melt so you're going to have, you won't get the brown butter effect. No, so what Christelle's doing is she's melting the butter, she's then browning it, then we're going to go in with our chocolate, we've got white chocolate, and we're going to pour the white chocolate straight into the hot pan while it's off the heat and the, the heat of the butter, because we are really boiling it, is going to melt the chocolate. See. So this saves on I'm the washing a up. Getting butter facial right now. Yeah, and it saves on the washing up because you don't have to do anything over a bain marie. You're literally pouring your chocolate into your butter. One pot wonder. One pot wonder. It's probably about a two pot wonder. <laughs> two pot. Yeah, that's looking good though. So now you can see we're really at the point ready to turn this butter into magic. It's now it sm started to smell. You'll notice when this turns like into brown butter because the smell. Oh my god. <laughs> You're wafting. Oh my god, I just got the hit. Yeah. Right, wow. so turn this heat off now. It's completely melted. 
and we can go in so. with our chocolate. So I'm just gonna pour in with 375 grams of white chocolate. And we're using Belgian white chocolate. If you don't have Belgium, use something really good quality, like Green and Black's white chocolate, if you're buying it from a supermarket. And Beautiful. the heat from the butter is going to melt the chocolate. We're just gonna stir this and this. Now this is central. Yeah, now you might think this looks like an oil split horrificness tragedy right now, but watch. I don't think it does. No, it's coming together so quickly. Sexy, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> that is just a Gorgeous. dream. Gorgeous. And then what we can do is we're gonna go in with our eggs and sugar. So in here, mm -hmm. pour in that bowl. I've got is it 375 grams, grams so of golden equal, caster? Equal sugar to chocolate. And I'm just going to go into a larger bowl with our sugar because we're going to go in here with our eggs. And to the sugar, I'm adding five eggs. I'm just going to crack them in. On the side of the table, this bowl's a bit dodge. Yeah. So now, I'm this is completely melted. If you can see here, it's like a poo. A pool. A pool. Like a always pool. do that. <laughs> she takes Here we go. You're from Liverpool. I know. I wish I had an accent. To someone else, you do. No, to I someone don't. not from London, you do have an accent. I know, but I want like a proper accent. Like I want like an American accent. I'd love one. But I think if you live somewhere, sometimes you do pick up the accent, don't you? Definitely. So we've got in with our five eggs. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to give this a whisk. There you go. So we can hand whisk this. We're not looking to aerate this or create it to be really pale and fluffy. We're literally combining the sugar and eggs. That last egg didn't want to go, did it? No, I had to put a bit of arm into that. Yeah. Thank you. That's perfect. Perfect, so that's all combined. You can see this is taking no time at all, guys. No, no time at all, just give that a really good whisk that's until perfect. it's combined. Let's add our chocolate. Amazing. So, am I going in or are you coming in? I'm gonna come in. <laughs> That's gorgeous. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow. Oh my God, look at that. And this is literally our blondie base. Let's move this minus, the, minus the dry ingredients. So now, do this slowly. Fold this together. Oh, it, it just, it's rippling through. You can see the eggs and the sugar rippling through the chocolate butter mixture. And that's why we agree that this is really essential. How many times have we said that one? <laughs> that's perfect. Now we're gonna add in our flour. We've got 170 grams. Of plain flour. Plain flour with a pinch of salt. And you don't wanna, do you wanna give that a whisk? Yeah. You don't wanna, um, add self-raising flour to blondies or brownies because you're not looking to get any rise on it. We're actually looking for this to be really dense and fudgy. So we've got a 20 by 20, sorry, a 22 by 24 centimeter uh, brownie tin here. You can use whatever you want. Um, if you've got an 18 by 20, 20 by 24, um, 24 by 26, that'll be absolutely fine. Or if you've like got... like you're playing bingo. <laughs> 18, 18, 17. Or oh, the races, what is it? 18, 24. <laughs> Any square or rectangular tin works. <laughs> Just saying. Um, let so me pick any tin you like. <laughs> so I've got a sheet of uh, parchment here. We use this in our bakery. Yours probably comes on a roll, um, but Christelle's gonna show you how to line it perfectly because she's the lining queen. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut this in half. And then the other bit we'll save for another time. Thank you very much. We don't like to waste anything. So we're gonna place, let's move on that side. We're gonna place this over our tin. We're gonna make four snips. Either corner, you're gonna snip two inches in. One. So we're going to flip over. You're still thinking about bingo, aren't you? I think it was more the races that you're going to snip the other one. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Let's go, it's 18, it's 18. All right, let's push this in now and it will fit. Perfectly. You've got to laugh, haven't you? Perfectly oh my lined. God, you do it perfect every time. Yeah, because it's See, simple. this, this, just perfectly lined like this pleases my soul. 
don't very, know about you guys. It's very nice. Should we go in? Yeah, let's go straight in. Wait. Should we say it again how sexy it is? <laughs> <laughs> it's sexy, it's a blondie. Wow. This needs like a wolf whistle moment. It really does. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Whistler. Okay, that's that. That's amazing. And the amazing thing about this is, is this can be your blondie base for any blondies you ever want to make. So we're going in with angel slices and party rings. But if you want to go in with, Christelle will love this, custard creams. Oh, be amazing. Do you know what I've noticed, okay? And this is really weird. So we do a party like a blondie cookie. So we have like a seven inch cookie with um, party, rings. party rings all on the top. I'm going to open this and I'm going to be positive that there's going to be no yellow party rings. Really? No? <gasps> what is going on? Why is, they're all purple and pink and I've got one white. I can't actually they're believe that. They're all purple. That. I'm in shock. Look at the ratio. Mr. Fox, It's what not even Mr. Fox, at? I just said Mr. Fox because they're Mr. No, because look, it's Foxes. Foxes biscuits. Yeah, wow. What are they playing at? So we need eight Mr. Kipling angel slices. How do you get them out? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, could be good. Them. The most. If you've, have you ever had an angel slice? I, I hope the answer's yes. I'm gonna get one of these. I'm gonna push it all the way down to the bottom. I'll get them out for you. Yeah, I, I don't know, I'm struggling. I think it was all the Mr. Kipling and the Foxy. I don't know why I was struggling either just then. I used to be a pro at getting these out. I used to down two at home after school before my mum could see. But well, we did notice that they're no longer in packs of two. They're only in packs of one. Aren't yeah, they? it's a sign. Stop eating them. Right. So you, we're pushing them straight down and we're, we're placing them in quite symmetrically because obviously there's nothing worse than someone saying, I never got a bit with that in it and I want a bit with that in it. So we always try and make sure with our brownies and blondies that we equally line everything up so that people don't feel like they're missing out if they get an end piece, for example. There you go, so we've got even, oh, even amount. And then I'm gonna go in with my purple and pink and my one white. white fox. Which is a shame because we would have wanted the colour variation there, but this wasn't planned. And we it's didn't know this was gonna happen. Recently. I can't believe that, you didn't tell me that, I'm gutted. I know, I couldn't believe it. We've been like... It oh, looks like we're purposefully trying to only put the pur pink, and pink and purple in. So you just placing those wherever you fancy, tucking them under. Next to the, are they fancies? No, they're not called fancies. No, I love a fondant fancy though. Did you like the lemon one or the pink one? Always pink. The lemon one was too lemony for me. So what I want to do is you can either get your hands dirty like I'm going to, which I'm going to get a spoon. And you want to just cover, cover the mix because this is going to weigh everything down as well. And you also want to make sure that when it goes in the oven, these aren't all too exposed because they will burn. So the idea is if you cover it with some of the blondie mixture, it prevents it from burning in the oven. And then halfway when we cook this, we, we cover it with foil anyway. Once it's all covered, we're ready to get it in the oven. There's no waiting around for this. It's not like our cookies. You can literally whack it in. So we're going in a 175 degree oven on the middle shelf. And how long are we cooking these for, Chris? So we're going to start with 40 minutes. So blondies take longer to cook than brownies. The butter content and the fat content is a lot higher in this. Because so of the white because chocolate. Because of the white chocolate that it's going to take longer. So if it gets to 30 minutes time and you see it starting to really wobble in the centre and you're like, this is never going to happen and it's colouring too much, you're going to cover this with foil. with foil and you're going to keep the temperature exactly the same heat and then 10 minutes later, you're going to check it again. And if it's still not cooked, you're going to check it for another 10. Every oven varies, so it's very hard to say. So our industrial ovens that we use at work are very powerful. Yeah. So it cooks very quickly. But, but we recommend 40 minutes. 40 minutes to 45 in yeah. your oven. If not, keep, a bit longer. Keep checking every 10. But please write in the comments below if you're finding this takes even longer, because it's great for us to know and then we can amend the recipe or share that with others and please also like and subscribe but we'll get these in the oven Woohoo! and it's baked so what we had to do with ours is 30 minutes into it we covered it 
It was a bit wobbly inside. Now I've let it completely cool and let it set. And if I give it a bit of a jiggle, no movement at all. And how long did we keep it in the oven for after it was covered? About 45 to 50 minutes. In total? Yeah. So after 30 minutes, it still had another 15 covered. So we, we want to know how you get on, so do let us know. Now we just need to cut this and see what they look like on the inside. The exciting part. So we left this to cool completely. Um, if you want to make perfect cuts in your blondies or brownies, we recommend chilling it in the fridge overnight before slicing, just so you get really straight, even cuts. Um, Christelle's using a serrated knife. We always find that helps. And you want to make incisions, don't you, to know how many you're going to get out of it. But before we show you that, Christelle's just going to show you the inside. You can see the bit I've cut so far has got a tiny bit of the fondant pants. Not the fondant pants. You could love calling them fondant pants. They're angel slices. Right, let me cut them all and then we can Yeah, so them. how many are we going to get out of this? Is this around 12? Depends how big you cut them. Yeah, how big are you going? So we recommend making incisions across the top, don't we? So is that four across? Mm hmm Perfect. To make your life easier. To make my life easier. Don't make yourself your life harder and start trying to get around the board. Just I always like cutting on a piece of paper so I can easily turn things. And then three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And if you if you're not sure and you're not as confident about cutting, you can make incisions before actually putting your knife all the way through but those look pretty damn even. All right, let's we see what they look like inside. Yeah. In true Blondie style, we like stacking them up really high. They look amazing. So, you can see. Wow. They are. They look amazing. Those are our old school, delicious, angel slice, party ring. Blondies. Wow, look at them inside. They look so good. They're so cool. And imagine if you did put fondant pancies in, they'd look just as cool. They you might be a bit sick. Christelle looks so shocked how good they I look. I know, they look really good. They look really good. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. We really hope you enjoy this recipe. Please tag us in all your bakes at Blondie's Kitchen because we love, 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 love seeing, seeing what you, what you do. do. And we can't wait to bake with you soon. Enjoy, guys. Yeah.